Liverpool have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. So that's got things on the way. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah. Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning fast reactions and a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one on one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses. And I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. A really good feat. Kurzawa. Tries one! Ream. Henderson plays it forward. Andreas Pereira. Finds himself eased off the ball. Ream. Liverpool so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Kebano. Kuzawa. Cabano, Cabano with the cross, cut out in the nick of time, forward it goes. Jordan Henderson tries to get it forward quickly, Kozawa drives it forward. He's come loose. Kebano. And it's Mitrovic. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Andreas Pereira breaks on here. Kuzawa. Andreas Pereira. And here's Mitrovic. Hits one. And he's done it. Fulham are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Fulham take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Mohamed Salah. Whipped in. And he's there to cut it out.
Reem. Kuzawa. Kebano. Kuzawa. Andreas Pereira. Kuzawa. Kebano. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. There could be trouble here, but for now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. And it's kept out by a stubborn defence. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Liverpool need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Hoist it forward. Alexander Arnold. Nicely controlled. Mohamed Salah chooses to go back. And it's Thiago. William. Defenders on the back foot. Andreas Pereira. Andreas Pereira. Hit. He's had a go! A real chance and a real let-off. Fulham are looking quite mean on the counter and combating that requires even more meanness. <laughs> Liverpool are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Tete. And it's played forward. Jordan Henderson. Your impression so far, Jim? Liverpool are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Into the box. Trying to get there. And it's hoisted clear. Liverpool making consecutive changes here. Henderson. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Liverpool are definitely going about this the right way. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Van Dijk. Thiago goes looking. Mohamed Salah, Jordan Henderson. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Kebano. Andreas Pereira. And here's Mitrovic. Mitrovic spreads it towards the left. Kebano with the cross. Fulham are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, that is lovely footwork. They get a throw in.
Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Out towards the flank. Hit into the middle. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Yeah, it was pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Jordan Henderson. Well, if something's going to happen, it's going to have to happen now. They need something heroic now, or a lucky break, or a kind refereeing decision. Has a goal! They've scored! They have stolen level at the last! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. There's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. All square again into the dying minutes. There's only one word for this. It, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Up towards the front line. Well, well played, he saw that coming. Fabinho. Thiago floats one over. And that is that. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable and honours even. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Liverpool may have approached this game as a probable win, Peter, and didn't address the basics properly that may have achieved it. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.